So Joel, who have you decided? I have decided which one is it? Which 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 way do we go? Up. <laughs> Up. Dream plum! <laughs> Also, I just realized yeah. something when when rewatching the the episode where we were in this battle background. Completely unintentional. The the do the doors that are in the artworks actually do kind of represent the four areas. <laughs> Be oh. Being a for being a forest area in the being a forest a, a an icy area in the sky. A, a, a cavern and a, vol and a volcan volcano with concrete. <laughs> it actually sort of works! <laughs> that was completely unintentional and now I love it even more. So yeah, Joel decided to to pick Dream Plum because he doesn't want to completely demolish her. Because apparently she is pretty easy to take. Like she's kind of she's kind of powerful, but she goes down fast. So I don't want her to go down before. Pretty she much can do Plum. <laughs> so Plum is what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a caveat of trying to add the stats with them, where it's like, Plum's defense is... Huh. <laughs> where it's like, if you aren't doing that much, if you're underleveled as hell, she's a very big problem. But if you're using a physical attack enough, she goes down very quickly. Like, I would say she's probably the easiest one for that alone. <laughs> Where honestly, the enemies getting to Dream Plum are probably harder than Plum herself. <laughs> and Dream Plum herself. <laughs> if anyone's wondering how, how I would rank the others, Eddie is probably second hardest. Yeah, I, I was kind of going between Eddie and Plum. I was yeah. like, do I do the hardest one next, or do I do the easy one so that she doesn't just get deleted? And I decided to go with that. And then Wolf's just kind of in the middle, where it's like, where it's like he's not going to, he's he's strong, but not as strong as the others. Oh yeah, also new new regular attack animation for oh, all the cool. new weapons. Honestly, it's weird to see them because I I was using the dream weapons so much in testing where it's like, oh right, I forgot those are new. <laughs> <laughs> you mean you? She. No, more like this area. These areas had the most testing done with them, mm -hmm. for obvious reasons. <laughs> I mean, enough where I where I have a difficulty tier list for the Dream Fears on which one first. Where Marie's the har where Dream Marie's the hardest one if she wants to be. Dream Eddie's second hardest because you know, of freaking defense. You know, I'm realizing, I'm realizing, Marie triple hits for 1,500 now. Yep. Okay. Welcome to the dream we to ultimate weapons. I didn't actually see how much damage your uh, skill did. Tornado so strike. Yeah, I didn't actually see how much damage this right there. Let's let's see. So yeah, uh, Marie's the hardest of the dream fears to beat, but if you get her, uh, she makes most of the others a joke. <laughs> Let's see. Nine hundred. Oh. <laughs> uh, between seven hundred and nine hundred. 
And remember that in mo in single uh, single battle in with single enemies, all four are hitting it at once. Yeah. So. Uh, and note let's that. Say, and note let's that, say each hit does. Let's say each hit does 850. That's uh. 3400 damage. And yeah. he get and he get get smoked. <laughs> No, honestly, it's a really good thing that you didn't didn't get do at Dream Eddie first because imagine what Eddie's weapon would do to Dream Plum <laughs> with triple hit. Yeah. Can you guess how well that would go <laughs> for Dream Plum? <laughs> I just realized I should probably have her. Oh, but that's that's fun. Cool. Never mind. Oh yeah. Also, a reminder that that, that her MP. That her magic went up. Yeah. Reminder that that Marie's magic went up because so that also includes her healing skills. Huh. <laughs> I mean, it like, it's not as energy. big of an increase, no. Yeah, it doesn't seem still. dramatically better, which is good because otherwise, like, why would you use this? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> healing light is still the best one because I think it does about three thousand now. <laughs> if I remember correctly, I think it do about three thousand now. now. aren't the hardest hardest bosses in the game. That would be the bosses after the Dream Fears, because, re because think of this. With game balancing, I know you have the ultimate weapons at that point. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can take a guess. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, she's frozen. Yeah. Yeah, that's why. I was also looking at them like, wait, what? It's like, all right, dying. That brain just frozen in a block of ice. A like Captain America. Captain America also has tornado strike. I was curious if there was a secret there. There is not. It is just a dead end. Thanks for giving me a horrible idea. <laughs> I'm sorry, players of this game. No, I mean what for later <laughs> once. I'm sorry, players of this next game. What do you mean, yeah, next game? This... Is that really that much of a surprise? No, I guess not really, is it? Yeah, what Joel's playing is pretty much the finished version, unless, unless he finds some very big glitch. It's really the only thing I changed, though. Ah, it though. doesn't one shot, though. I thought it one shot a few guys, but okay. Whatever. They'll be dead soon enough. <laughs> yeah, welcome to Marie now. It's known as Tornado Strike, Triple Hit, 
and he and 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 whatever healing magic is required. That's pretty much what you're going to use for Marie now. Yeah, the healing skills have about a hundred increase to each one now. With the magic <laughs> boost. Not as bad as, as the Tornado Strike. So, one thing I do want to mention, and I do feel like mentioning, uh, I do feel a little bit justified in my feeling that Marie still feels she still feels a little bit like, maybe not like she's the main character and everybody else is not, but she feels like a little bit more of the main character than the others, and I feel kind of justified in that, simply because she's the one you start the game playing as. She's the only character you play as without the rest of the party. And honestly, having her class be called Dream Hero, that sounds like a main character. That sounds like a protagonist class. <laughs> and I feel like you could dodge that by very, by like forcefully being, by forcefully making the other characters feel like main characters. Maybe giving them solo sections at some point or something. Well, I am. But, <laughs> like, you mean this? Oh, never mind. You mean like actually, like literally yeah. put. Retract the party and such. Yeah, I don't know. That, that that's 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 just a thought that I Yeah, have. Marie is is the main character, but she's not the exact main character. It's mm -hmm. kinda like Final Fantasy VI, where it's like everyone's the main main character in Final Fantasy VI, but Terra gets a bit more importance and such. Okay, so, like, so that was kind of important. Yes. I was going for more, for more where it's like, where it's like, the, the entire story's not centered around her. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the example I was gonna give was when I spoke with my little pony, but... <laughs> well, of course you would. <laughs> where it's like, she's a main character, she's a main character in the way that she's the main character of almost every single, like, premiere and finale episode. But... Um, there, there are, there are, there's a good number of episodes. I think she literally has more episodes where she doesn't appear at all than, I think, I, I think Applejack appears in more episodes than she does. <laughs> I think it was Applejack. Huh. But there are literally episodes where Twilight Sparkle's just not even there. <laughs> yeah, you can count her as the, as the main character, but it's like, but it's like the... The story's not like she's the only chosen one or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and this has been Party Members with Damien and Joel. Fun conversation of conversing. Well, it's still better than silence. <laughs> I like these conversations more than silence. <laughs> oh, I didn't need to talk so fast with you. Oh. I thought this was a joke, but she kind of said Oh. <laughs> it's about the game. It's about game design the show is nerdy about. <laughs> it's good. And me too. I'm nerdy about it too. <laughs> I wonder why. Nerds. <laughs> We're nerds. We're nerds, but we have heart. Somewhere. The, the normal nerds not have heart? HEARTLESS! Oh. Oh, that was a crit. Okay, that's why he just said that. I was like, that's why did he yeah, do Yeah, those so are crits. Shares? I'm like, oh no, it was just a crit. No, he doesn't have his dream weapon yet. So can we just talk about the fact that Marie 
does more damage with their normal hits than Wolf is doing with his critical hits. Yep. <laughs> uh, well, what do you expect when she has like 80 above him? She's kind of strong. But soon. <laughs> so that's not going to last that much longer. I mean, it is because we're probably... <laughs> Since we're doing Plum first, and I don't know when we'll get to Dream Wolf and Dream Eddie. <laughs> frozen! Still frozen! How are they frozen in midair? Oh, uh, yeah, you haven't played Dream Force. <laughs> I mean, that's also the same question I have with Pokemon. Uh, the ice black reaches all the way to the ground? Or when you're frozen in the- uh, while, while- Or when you're- when- When you're- when your bird- when your bird falls asleep in Pokemon, where it's like, shouldn't it fall to the ground and <laughs> take damage? But no, but still immune to ground type moves. <laughs> Unless it uses Roost, because it went on the ground. Meanwhile, Dodrio is immune to the ground type moves. <laughs> These guys are very good, if you didn't know. We'll get it away. <laughs> Oh, uh, she actually did 1500 because it was a crit, so she, yeah. she's not doing as nearly as much damage as I thought. Yeah, she does like 500-ish. Yeah. She does 1500 So, so, so she's doing like twice as much damage. Cumulatively, as well. she does 1500. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have a lot of magic. <laughs> Runs out of mana tricks on the final boss. <laughs> you have shops. <laughs> Runs out of money. <laughs> so how the hell would you run out of money? <laughs> Each of the dream fears gives you 10,000. <laughs> Plus all the enemies you're fighting. Kurai. <laughs> Imagine Skeletor's voice just screaming into the sky. No! No! Pro no! Mines. This is where Plum's dream fear is about to come in. Oh, wait, no, I gave him this voice. I forgot. Because I forgot he was the same guy as the Black Mask? <laughs> oh, there's a chest up there. Chest! I wonder why it's called Crown Mines. Probably because she's a proper. Right. <laughs> There's literally a uh, dude in there. No kid. Might as well spam an MP. Yep. Yeah, when when only like two or so activate, that means that the target's died. <laughs> you really need to use blizzard storms or even tornadoes. <laughs> yes. You hate this thing, don't you? <laughs> Man, I wish that was a crit. <laughs> Like, do you think he's dead? I think he's dead. And a lifelink. New item. 
Okay. Also, plump upper hand, remember, also means that you can escape first turn. Like, Blizzard! <laughs> They're going to die. Also, it's in the Also, no. It's Strike Ray! What is it called? Strike Rush. Strike Rush! Okay, so I was. But. I feel a little bit justified in video I make stuff. So, are you gonna check the new item? Needs to be shared in the party. He owes 2500 to the whole party. That's pretty good! We got Marie! Barrel! <laughs> Royalty! Is it truly worth the past you had? You have friends now. They'll give you the strength you need. I've moved over from the, from the forest to the cave! Ha <laughs> ha! Why am I now just imagining Joker <laughs> hiding out in a cave? <laughs> like just this random cave next to a fireplace. You'll never find me here. Isn't that right, Joker? <laughs> and he, Batman's like hanging upside down from the cave. To, from the cave to see him the cave. <laughs> Next to a bunch of other bats. <laughs> so I have a little bit of TP. I don't know if you noticed. <laughs> I don't know. Man, if only you ran into a boss with those. <laughs> <laughs> then Dream Plum would die even faster. <laughs> Train tracks, so they had like a five minute conversation about the train tracks, and the DM's like, Why? <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> it's like, Cam, stop it! I like, want to play the game! But my, but you asked the PNPC, so she has to tell you! But we need to know the, the backstory of Lord Ultra Bald Lifespan! <laughs> no! Just fight my monsters that I made! <laughs> this monster reminds me of a story from my youth. <laughs> damn it, Lord Archibald Lifespan. No one wants to hear about your goddamn war stories. If anyone gets that reference, props to you. <laughs> is that, uh, what is it, Posey D or something? Huh? What his name is? Rosie D? No. <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna say it out loud! Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's why you're not po getting props. Damn it. <laughs> you just get a lot of TP. <laughs> How is Thunder hitting in a kick? He does what he it actually reminds me of one of my favorite part, parts of, dra of the Dragon Quest spells is 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 the one is the one where 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 you rise up to go anywhere in the world map. If you do it in a cave or building, you you, you your character goes up, your character goes upwards, falls back. You hear a thud, falls back down, and it says you hit your head on the ceiling. Oh, is that zoom? 
Yeah. I think in Smash, if there's a ceiling above you, you just get stuck on it. Cool. <laughs> you know, I have new enemies in here. Yay! And that's just skeletons and bats. Hello, bats! <laughs> it is I, Plum! Plum, why are you sounding like that? Don't question me! <laughs> yeah, this uh, seems about right for Plum and Eddie to talk like this. <laughs> Why is Plum doing a Joker voice? That's why I want to question. Because. <laughs> she saw on TV. What's a TV? <laughs> Come on, it's a superhero from America. What's America? A thesaurus also 151 gold. Yay, yeah, cause dinosaur. <laughs> Chester. Oh. Hey, it's my boy Chester. I love Chester. He's my favorite of all the chests. Yes, they are chests. <laughs> they can be exchanged for goods and services. And make some people on the internet very happy. <laughs> Especially if they're drawn by a Japanese person. <laughs> well, really, uh, uh, really, if they're real or not, <laughs> I don't think it really matters. There may be a preference for going drawn by a Japanese person. Eddie. What's Japanese? Also, also Eddie. Nani? <laughs> Nani is Japanese! <laughs> That's the joke. <laughs> That's the joke. No, I'm saying. He's saying. No, quote. Nani is Japanese. Because Nani means what? <laughs> 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 Funny. Man, I love the character What from Lilo and Stitch. <laughs> I'm funny. <laughs> I think he's dead. Damn it, Marie, aim your wind better. Oh, he's not dead! Did he get healed or something? Yes, he did super heal himself the first turn. Oh, that's right, okay. I thought you'd be dead, but you have survived this day. I will obtain all my MP back, assuming I get a turn. Marie use MP for? Uh, most of her moveset? Oh, she did not get her MP back. Hey, 46! <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> In this hallway. What is your life in reality, Plum? Who are you? My full name is Plumeria Emerald. I'm the daughter of the King of Zero Isle. Wait, 
You're a princess? Uh, yeah. Pretty much. Ha, <laughs> that's so cool! It'd be so awesome to be royal! Not at all. It's terrible. What? Why is it so bad? You hide behind a fake version of yourself. The only thing you do is judge, and you have to throw all emotions away. Well, at least that's what my father tells me to do. Well, that sounds really bad. What does your mother say? My father passed away giving birth to me. I feel my father and brother have always hated me for taking you away. Do everyone help me, Phil? Okay? Well, I suppose I have my uncle Wordison. Wordison. He was my mother's brother. He was to take the throne before my mom and her father. Hmm. Uncle was the one who always, who always called me Plum when we visited. Funny enough, I hate him and Plum's actually. He always visits for my birthday. Me and him visit mom and walk around the kingdom together. Don't tell what it's on a thing. Unless you want to see him join your mother. Plum, are you okay? We should keep going. See you guys next time. The plot begins.